We got a problem. Cities are growing too fast and they're using too much electricity. Cities consume 75% of all the world's energy, but 400 billion kilowatt hours are wasted each year because we don't use information effectively. That's enough energy to power almost 40 million households. And that's a problem. But we got a solution. We're gonna tell you what it is, and then Crazy John's gonna make lightning with a fork. Hey, we're here again with John Cohn, IBM fellow, mad scientist, superhero, and swimsuit model. John, we're talking a lot about Smarter Planet, what IBM's doing that cities can learn from. Explain this idea of a smart grid. IBM is like a city. We buy our power straight off the New England grid, just like power utility. Now, an electric utility has to generate both for its average load and for its peak load. When you say peak load, what are we talking about? Oh, like on a hot summer day. All people right. are all turning their air conditioners on. Okay. It takes extra power. All and right. they have to plan for that capacity. What they tend to do is they generate power at their average load as cleanly as they can, and then they bring on auxiliary things like uh, uh, oil-fired or gas-fired generators to make up for that peak. Now that's more expensive and it adds more carbon. Now what'll happen is on a hot muggy day, the electric grid will send out an alert saying that, hey, we've got a high demand situation. And they ask us to load shed. Because we've instrumented all of our circuits over there, we know exactly down to the watt where all the power is going. We can determine what pieces of non-critical equipment we can shut down to save power. And in turn, they'll write us a big check for saving that power because they didn't have to spend that money. And if we can do it, cities can do it. Look, this is this intelligence stuff that intrigues me. I mean, can you show me more? Absolutely. And then can you make lightning? For you, Tim, yes. So, Tim, these are the hydroelectric generators I was telling you about. These just happen to be down the street from us at IBM. But these beautiful machines have been in place since 1917, generating power 24 hours a day just from the Winooski River. These are new generators over here. These are diesel rods, and they're just used on those peak load conditions. Now, what we're able to do by load shedding is we're able to rely more on these and less on those. This is completely green and is free. This puts carbon in the air and costs money to run because of diesel fuel. No, my mom's from Cleveland. Why do you ask? So Tim, this is one of these giant air handling units I was telling you about. It's like a really fancy air conditioner. Yep. And it, it supplies ultra pure air to the process lines below takes quite a lot of power. Now during one of those load emergencies, we could turn this thing off for a couple of hours, as long as we turn it back on later. So you're just moving the times when you run things to be more efficient. It's like my washing machine, right? I mean, I still have to run that, but instead of running it during the day when my AC's on, I wait and run it at night. Yeah, exactly. Or I could not run it at all and just keep wearing the same pants. So Tim, this is where we make the whole process smarter. Remember I told you that every piece of equipment here is instrumented? Yeah. So we know down to the watt how much energy the entire plant is using. Not only that, we can predict it. That's that blue line. And for example, you can tell this was Monday. That was a kind of a warm and muggy day. We were using almost 60 megawatts. That's a lot of power. Whereas today it's, it's cooler outside and we're using somewhere around 48 megawatts. Now, if it had been an emergency, like a hot muggy day and the, the New England grid had said, hey, we need load shedding. We would know exactly which pieces of equipment. We would know that we could turn that stuff off and shave off those peaks. And that would prevent the electric grid from having to start some of those vacuum generators and put carbon in the air. You know, that's fascinating and all, but you know what this trend line looks like to me? What? Lightning. All right, Doc, I get this idea about the smart grid, but I'm just trying to wrap this all up and would love to crystallize it with some kind of visual, you know, some kind of model, some demo of like, um, I don't know, lightning? Would that be representative? No, man, but it's cool. Let's hit it. Okay. Ha, 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 ha.